Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for the last video as part of this year's Fashion Mumbler Spring Edit. I really, really hope you have enjoyed all the videos based around spring themed content that I have published this week. If you have missed any of them, they'll all be linked down below, including hauls, transitioning your wardrobe videos, beauty videos. There has been so much spring content up on my channel this week. If you have only recently stumbled across my channel, then I hope you have enjoyed the content you've seen so far and I hope you'll hit the subscribe button for loads more trend, fashion, beauty, travel videos, etc. coming your way very soon. I have so much fun content planned for you in the coming weeks and months, so it'll be great to have you back. Today we're going to be doing a luxury unboxing. So I'm going to be opening up some new purchases and these are very much luxury pieces. I didn't want to say haul because I don't think you can really haul luxury purchases. Haul to me always feels a little bit impulsive um, and a little bit frivolous whereas these were very much carefully considered pieces that I have chosen because I feel that they're going to elevate my entire spring wardrobe and there are three pieces that I'm going to be unboxing in today's video all of which do have a designer price tag so they were not a frivolous purchase they are things that I have very carefully chosen and I will explain why. The three pieces are all from Luisa Villaroma it's actually the first time I've used their website so far very impressed with the service everything arrived so quickly considering I think the pieces come from Italy. I've actually visited the store on Via Roma when I've been to Florence before so um, yeah very excited to show you what is inside so let's get started. Okay so everything has arrived in this big black box at least I hope it's everything. I know with Farfetch um, things sometimes arrive differently because they come from different retailers but I believe everything is in here. So we have a beautifully presented package. We've got some monochrome chromatic Louisa Via Roma ribbon which I'm going to undo and show you what's beneath this tissue paper. And here are, sneak peek, the three pieces that I purchased. I'm going to start off with the big red Valentino box. So this is a purchase that I am very, very excited about. If you have watched my videos um, previously, vlogs, etc., then you may have heard me talking about my Valentino Rockstud shoes, of which I now have two pairs. They are, to this day, my most worn and best investment piece. I wear the shoes so, so much, and they have very special memories for me. This is not a third pair of the Valentino Rockstud shoes but it is a pair of their sandals. I have been lusting over these for quite some time and I just thought that this was the perfect pair and why wait any longer. As I mentioned in my spring essentials video, I do feel that a pair of sandals is an essential in your spring wardrobe, gets you ready for summer and also just goes with so many different outfit combinations. So definitely the kind of piece that is worth investing in. Inside the box at the top here we've got the product information which is tucked into the dust bag. And here they are. So I have gone for the rose gold. I'm not sure the official name of this leather colour, but I will leave the exact pair of shoes linked down below. I would say they're a rosy gold, almost kind of bordering on pewter colour, which I think is very, very versatile. I think that it's almost like a neutral, a metallic neutral. And a lot of my, well, I say a lot, I don't have that many, a few of my designer bags, my Chloe and my Valentino Glamlock bag, they are both metallic. And I find that it just goes with so many things. Even if you're outfit is a colour or if it's monochromatic. This shade, this metallic goldy colour, I would say acts as a neutral and very very flattering on loads of different skin tones. The height of the heel I think is going to be really versatile. It is a low chunky block heel. Sorry you can't really see because there's a big Louis of Roma return <laughs> tag on there. Very comfortable to wear. I think I'll be able to wear this all day long. If they're anywhere near as comfortable as my Rockstud shoes then these will be incredibly comfortable. I think because of the amount of straps on them they certainly will be. So very much looking forward to trying these on. I think the reason why I decided that these were worth the investment is because so many outfits can instantly be uplifted with a designer accessory and I think that Valentino shoes are so iconic, so eye-catching, and they instantly just give your look a bit of a luxe appeal. Whether you're wearing a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt, just adding a pair of sandals like this, or the Valentino rock studs, or any designer shoes that are quite iconic, instantly just adds that certain kind of expensive look to your entire outfit. So I'm going to give these a try now, and I'll let you know how they feel and what they look like on. Okay, so I've just popped on the Valentino shoes. As you can see, they look 
absolutely amazing. They did take a little bit longer to put on than my rock studs because they do have these two uh, straps to do up instead of just the one, but it's worth it once they're on. I have um, done a little walk around the house and can confirm they are very comfortable, really easy to walk in because of this heel height. Okay, this next purchase has not come in a box. Instead, it's just in this little dust bag and it is from Prada. I'm gonna open it up and show you straight away. So this is the bag that I have gone for. It is a crossbody bag. I find crossbody bags, I just wear them so, so much. So the reason why I decided to invest in this bag is because firstly, it's been on my wish list for quite some time, but also I've been getting so much use out of my Gucci Chevron print bag lately. And I just thought it was time to get something a little bit more updated and something more appropriate for spring. Because the Gucci bag has got quite a lot of black in there, I always think of it as quite an autumnal slash winter bag. And knowing how much use I get from that, I thought if I was to invest in a spring version of that bag, I would get so much use out of it. So bringing that price per wear right down. This is obviously a neutral color. I got it in white. It's got yellow gold writing for the Prada logo and then a yellow gold zip as well. Because it's neutral, it is going to be the kind of thing that goes hopefully with all of my outfits. Also, something that I mentioned in my video when I talk about how to choose the right investment bag, I'll leave that video linked on the screen and down below. I was very conscious that this is that kind of textured Saffiano leather, which is really, really durable. A bag like this is gonna get a lot of use, it's going to be worn on an everyday basis pretty much, so I didn't want it to be a kind of leather that would scratch or mark or damage easily. This is a very durable textured leather, so it's not gonna get scratched, it's not gonna rip or show any marks, as easily as a softer leather would so that's definitely something to bear in mind if you're investing in a bag that you want to get a lot of use from. Inside we've got some padding, we've also got a little, um, I think this is going to be the shoulder strap in this very adorable little Prada um, pouch. That's interesting, it's a full on uh, leather strap, I don't know why I was expecting this to be a chain strap, I think my Gucci one is half chain, half leather, don't quote me on that, but this is great because it'll be very comfortable whether you're wearing a strapless top or a shirt, it's not gonna drag on the skin, so very good idea to have a leather strap, and it is adjustable as well, it's got a little buckle on there. So you can clip this onto the little hooks here, or you could just hold it as a clutch bag, you could even use this as a makeup bag or a big purse bag within a bag. Inside it has got don't know if you can see that very clearly, but that looks a bit like a card holder, so you can slot your Oyster card, your credit card in there, and then it also has a big flap pocket as well. So big enough, hopefully, for my iPhone, my vlogging camera, my daily essentials, a pen, a little mini notebook, maybe. So again, knowing how practical I found the Gucci one, I think this will be very well loved and very well used. My final splurge was from Saint Laurent, and again, this is the kind of bag that I have had on my Pinterest wish list on on my kind of mental wish list for a long time, but I don't know, I just never made the splurge and something recently obviously happened to us having a bit of a crazy day, decided to go for three in one. Um, and it is, I will just wrap it open. Inside there's a dust bag and here is the bag. Isn't she beautiful? I've lusted over the Saint Laurent bags with a tassel for so, so long. I do have a bag slightly bigger than this, which doesn't have a tassel. And whenever I see people with a tassel one, I'm like, oh, it just looks so, so gorgeous. This is another thing that just, again, instantly uplifts an outfit. If you're wearing a super plain outfit with a coat or even just like a chunky knit, just wearing this crossbody, it's so iconic and eye-catching with the YSL logo. Such a timeless design that it's going to be something that for years and years and years I can just use as a finishing touch to my outfit and instantly it just looks so much more fabulous. So we have got inside again Louis de Roma love putting all of these tags on their things. There is a very very practical zip pocket and then inside you've got one main compartment and once again this is like a purse so it's got one two three four five six card folders card slots and then a big slot at the back so if you wanted to use this as like a giant purse you very much could put all your coins in the zip section you could put all of your notes in the back section and then fill that area out with your cards too i can't wait to take all of these labels off to see how it looks properly this one has once again a chain strap but a leather section at the top here love it when they do this because as i mentioned earlier it's not chain all the way around it means it's not going to be painful on your shoulders so i am absolutely smitten with my three new luxury purchases 
pieces. I think all three of these pieces are great investments. I'm going to get a lot of use out of them in the coming months to spring. And then they're so classic that I will wear them for years and years to come. Great pieces to add to my luxury collection. All of them are very classic designs. They're not real trend pieces that are going to go out of fashion within a few months. And when it comes to luxury pieces, I have mentioned this in previous videos, I don't like to go for really overly on trend pieces because when I make this kind of investment, I want to get use out of them for years and years. So it's very important to me that they are timeless designs. And I think all three of these absolutely are. So let me know in the comments what you think of my gorgeous new pieces, if any of these are on your wish list, or if you own any of these, what you think of them, give me your mini reviews. I will keep you guys updated as to how I get along with them. You'll be seeing them a lot over on my Instagram and in my styling videos, so keep a lookout for those. And let me know what is on your spring luxury wish list as well. On that note, I do have a blog post going up today on my blog all about the luxury pieces that are still on my wish list for spring, so if you'd like even more fashion inspiration then I'll leave a link to that post down below and you can check that out too. There's a lot more broad things on there like luxury swimming costumes, beauty products, things like that so um, yeah definitely go and check that out. But that's all from me today, I really hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye!